my friend. I'm the spirit of the Olympics, but everyone calls me Ollie. I'm going to tell you some stories and interesting facts about the Olympic Games over the years. So let's go. Fred Logg won the St. Louis Marathon in 1904, but right before the medals were awarded, it was discovered that he'd driven the distance from kilometer 14 to near the stadium in an automobile. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true that the Greeks used to run the 42 kilometers on foot, but that's just because the car hadn't yet been invented. <laughs> what a cheek. He might as well have said that the car was a taxi and cost him a fortune. Did you know that in the olden days, Olympic athletes used to compete in the new... Yes, those guys were the sponsor's worst nightmare. Where exactly were they supposed to be sticking their adverts? Let me introduce you to Pig. Nothing Olympic about this spirit. Why are you saying that? I always say that the most important thing is to win. And that it's fine to cheat if the referees can't catch you at it. Ouch! Now, going back to those naked athletes, only single women were allowed to watch the games. And the punishment for a married woman caught watching those athletes in action was the death penalty! Well, you know, at least I didn't have to pay to get it. Do you know Ebelardo Pavesi? A great Italian cyclist! During the 100-kilometer trial of the way to Los Angeles in 1932, the cyclist swapped his provisions of fruit and vegetables for a plate of spaghetti, which he proceeded to eat without missing a single pedal push. And he won! If that was a spaghetti had been prepared by la mia mamma, I would have won the race even on a tricycle. And to finish off, let's travel to the Munich Olympics in 1972. For breakfast, the heavyweight boxing champion would eat 26 fried eggs and a steak every day before his training session. Ah, the champion, no cholesterol, yes. 26 fried eggs. His liver must have been in top shape. <laughs> 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 